All right, Fisher ready. And the wide and first pitch tonight is a little high. And he's ready for the one two. And that ball is hit out into the gap in left center field pretty well. Robertson trying to get there. He won't. And that'll plop down just before the track. And it would be a double to start things off for Gavin Napier in the Gales. On the payoff pitch, it's a fastball and it misses high so far this year. Big strong right handed hitter chops one to the right side, and that one's going to find right field. Evans will come pick it up, but scoring easily will be to Napier. Throw goes over to third, and it's not in time either. So the first three reach base here for St. Mary's. Veteran. Just one so far this year, and that one is hammered out into the gap, left center field. Robertson trying to run it down. He will, right in the middle of the track, but certainly deep enough. As Schmidt does his job, coming in to score is Almanza. And that will do it. Number 74, as that one will miss in. So a good start for the Gator offense. Went down and got that one and laces it out to left field. That ball will fall. Of inning number one, Heyman hits one out towards right. Schmidt will come in on the lazy fly ball. And he can't see it. That ball's way over his head. Curlin's going to score easily, and they'll hold Caglione at third base. And now Colby Shelton. First pitch, Hacken, that's a liner into right. Cags will easily score, and just like that, the first four hitters have tied this game up at two apiece. Gets a fastball. That one's lined down into right, and that ball's going to fall. Four consecutive hits for the Gators, and Heyman will come in to score easily. And just like that, the Gators with a 3-2 to two lead. Donay down in the count, 1-2. and two, And he will miss that fastball down and in to retire the side. In the first inning, 14 of them were strikes. And right back to it come the Gales as Brian Duroff turns on a first pitch fastball. Really not even in the middle of the box as this one is hit out to right. Evans will drift back, still going back, and he's not going to get it. That's going to bounce off the very top of the wall. And all the way from first, here comes Duroff, and he will score without a throw. That went out towards third, backhanded nicely, but a long throw by Thomas, and not going to be online. Punch one through the right side. Tries to do it again, but Curlin is right there, and he'll flip it over to Caglione, but he can't get it. That one off the bag, and there's one cheap run. And the Gales are going to take the lead on the throwing error by Curlin. Well, that'll do it. So Fisher, just like the first, gets a couple of strikeouts. Kate Curlin. And he'll hit one down the right field line. That one is tailing away from the right fielder, and he's not going to get it. Schmidt gave it a heck of an effort, but Curlin around second. He's chugging along. And a head first slide has him in there safely with a triple. His first. Chance to tie it up or give the Gators a lead. First pitch, Hacken will hit it hard right at the first baseman. That will score the run, though, as Curlin was going on contact. And Caglione will get his 16th RBI of the year. And he'll take another one high. A lot of other people knew it. You could see. 2-2 is hit hard, but right at the second baseman who can't handle it. And each team's second baseman now has an error on the entire season. He'll square again, get it down much better this time. Quinto's only play is the first, and it will be a successful sacrifice. 2-2 two -two again, fastball, and that's hammered down into the corner. Evans will easily score. Shillnut rounds third, heads for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man, and Donay turns on a fastball for RBIs four and five on the year, and the Gators now up two. 1-2 one -two is right into the ground over to first and Almanza has it will win the foot race to the bag let my offense figure this thing out and end it well, that's not going to help as for the third time in four innings a leadoff man is on as the nine hole hitter met him singles up the middle runner goes and Heyman can't get it out of his glove they tried it again and he turned on it slap one through the right side Evans has it here comes a strong throw. Going to be a play at the plate, but it's not in time as a head first slide by Metham gets St. Mary's their fifth run of the game. Take that, fellas. That's right. Runner goes. Heyman gets it out of his glove this time, but not a good throw, and that'll ricochet off of Curlin. So 
It's going to be the second error of the night for the Gators. First, and then Fisher got him next time, and he got him this time. Two more strikeouts for Cade Fisher. Shelton drove in his 16th run and might have his 17th here, and a ball hit a towering shot up into the wind, but that's not going to matter. It's gone. And for the seventh time this year, Colby Shelton has left the yard. That's two more than anybody else on this team. Well, the discussion worked. Yeah. Going the other way when, in fact, you may pitch him in. And Cag just drills one where nobody was. <laughs> where, where the shortstop normally would be. <laughs> 0-2. Heyman goes the other way as well. So against the shift, it's back-to-back -back singles for Cags and Heyman, and the Gators have something going here in the sixth. One of the best coaches in college baseball. 2-1 is hammered. That ball will get down. Cags rounding third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man, and Tybo for the second time tonight singles in a run, and the Gators now with a three-run lead. That one's hit pretty hard out to right. Schmidt going back, but the win will hold it up. Now to Donay, who's back in the box. And that one is hammered. So instead of getting on first via the walk, he does it via the single. There I think he'll go. take that. That's even better. For the Gator nine-hole hitter, Michael Robertson, who bunts, tries to get his way on, but it's fielded nicely by Wiltsy. And that one right back up the middle, and that'll find center field. Donay rounding third, heading for home. It's a brown-eyed, handsome man. And that, runners in scoring position, batting average will go up. That one way off the plate as Albert runs. Sidearm toss is not going to be in time, and he will swipe second base. Another 3-2. And that one is hit high and pretty far out to right field, but too high, as they say in Major League. And Coleman Schmidt will haul it in. There's a fastball, but it's hammered into left field on a ball right out over the middle part of the plate. And Chong will reach base for the first time tonight. So back-to-back -back hitters, three balls and two strikes. And Neely misses this time, and he's upset with himself. Griffith has done a really nice job in limited duty, and now he's going to get a hit. That one a fly ball to center. Easy play for Robertson. Will be deep enough to score the run. Throw will come into third like it should. And that run will be charged to Philpot, but two outs in the inning. Courage the strikeout. And they'll get it. Painted perfectly on the outer part of the plate. Neely strikes out two. It looks like that fastball just broke away from the right-handed hitter. We'll see if he gets it again. He does and lays off of it. Runner goes, and a swing and a miss on a 3-2 slider. Heyman is going to be thrown out as well. So a strike him out, throw him out, is blocking Heyman's foot. And then Heyman never gets to the bag. No, he never got there. Let's see what they say. We have obstruction at second base. The runner's oh, safe at second base. There you go. He needed just to be a one-number guy. Good slider there, and Evans swings and misses at it. <laughs> Good slider again, and good job by Preston Howie. That one missed out over the plate, and Guy is going to have to come in and get it on a bounce. So a leadoff single for Pierce. Nowhere to go. And back to the fastball. He gets the strikeout. Yeah, Mayshore knows what's coming. Can he hit it? Doesn't matter. It's high. Good fastball there from Neely and Torek. Straight off the bench, looks overmatched, and they're going to call timeout. Jack Meggs wants to have a conversation. Neely tries to throw him an off-speed pitch. It hasn't done well tonight. Fastball they stay with, and he lines it down the right field line. Got a piece of it. One run will easily score. We'll see if they bring in a second. They will. And chugging for third is Torrit. And as the throw comes home, and just like that, fresh off the bench, Torque has made this a one-run game. Slider again. Shellnut going to try to run this down. He will, but it's deep enough to tie the game. And a three spot here in the ninth inning has evened this up at nine apiece. But he did. Oh, that's ball three. Nope, yeah, that's ball four. 
And they needed at least one. There's a pop up. Should be playable for Cags. Now in foul territory, the Gator first baseman has it. The one two pitch. Big strikeout again. That's four in a row. And there it is again. And he's not close to it again. Here's the one two pitch. Swing and a miss. Six in a row. Fastball again, and that's a leadoff single. Guy over to get it quickly. He's trying to avoid his four strikeout tonight, though. But that one is hammered out into left center field. Jalen Guy back, and he's not going to get it. There's that power we talked about, and he got it up into the jet stream. And an opposite field bomb here in extra innings has given the Gales a two-run lead. Talked about that dangerous top of the order. This team has battled back. Inning alive. That one is hit hard. Guy will try to run it down, but he can't. And that's the first hit of the night for Dalton Mayshore. Mayshore's lead's gotten a lot bigger. And they'll chase him back. And they got him. The wind and the 2-2. That's hit down the left field line, curving, and it will stay fair. Hugging the line, Albert's going to try for two, and he's got himself a head first slide in the second with a leadoff double. Here in extra innings. Is open here. On, on each. And that one off the plate. Yeah, no question. And there it is for strike three. Really good pitch. Shelton has already homered tonight. And that one. Down the left field line, curving, and it is gone. A walk-off win for Colby Shelton as that one stays just inside the foul pole. Second homer of the day. The first time he's had three hits as a Gator, none bigger than that one. And we are going home.